welcome to a short video on helping you to understand uncertainty. Now, I have a few favorite teams in the NBA and having played some college basketball, I particularly like to watch players that are enjoyable to watch and put on a good show. Having raised my family in the Bay Area, we're big Golden State fans. But today, I'm going to be talking about another one of my favorite teams, the Dallas Mavericks. I like that because they have this player, Luka Doncic, on, a, on their team. And Luka has uh, just come into the league from Europe. He's young. He's about 21 years old. And he's starting to dominate play. Um, so in particular, we're going to be looking at the playoffs. And uh, in the first round, Dallas went against the Clippers. Now, of course, the Clippers were everybody's or most people's favorites. The uh, LA Clippers versus LA Lakers was what was going to be expected as the final. Didn't work out that way. So what we've got here is a situation, let's say game four, and we have um, a situation where Luka Doncic hurt his ankle in the previous game, and Kawhi Leonard seems to have come down with the flu. So there's a possibility that neither of them will play. So the question is, what is the probability for each of the teams of winning this particular game? So what I've done is I've assigned some percentages of the likelihood of these things happening. As you can see, I just put in a 0.6 as a possibility for Kawhi Leonard getting the flu. And uh, we fill in the rest of these. What I've done is I've said, of course, that means 0.4 that he will be better. Um, and of course, the 0.6 and 0.4 also apply down below. Now, there's also the, the likelihood that um, Luka Doncic won't play because of his bad ankle. And that's about a 0.35 and a 0.65 that he will play. So how do we determine what are the probabilities for Dallas winning and losing? Well, if we, we, we've been told that if Kawhi Leonard has the flu and Luka, Luka Doncic has a bad ankle, the probabilities of each team winning is 0.5 for Dallas and 0.5 for the Clippers, about 50-50. On the other hand, if Luka Doncic's bad ankle is still there and Kawhi Leonard is better, then it's 0.1 for Dallas and 0.9 or 90% for the Clippers. Now, on the other hand, we're told that if Kawhi Leonard has the flu and Luka Doncic is able to play. That's about 80-20 that Dallas will win the game. And if, on the other hand, Luka is able to play and Kawhi is ready to play, it's about 40 to 60, with 60% 60 more likely the Clippers will win. So what, then, is the probability, given all this uncertainty, that each of these teams will win? So let's look at how we calculate that. So what we have is taking this top path. We have a 0.5 for the Dallas Mavericks. That would be the first number times the 0.6 for Hawaii times the 0.35 for Luka Doncic. We get a 10.5% chance. On the other hand, if Kawhi Leonard has, is better, then we have a 0.1 times a 0.4 times a 0.35 or a 1.4% chance of winning. If Kawhi Leonard is, has the flu, then it would be a 0.8 times a 0.6 times a 0.65, a 31.2% chance. And finally, a 0.4 times a 0.4 times a 0.65, or a 10.4% chance, the total being a 53.5% chance of winning. Now, on the other hand, of course, then the Clippers would be 46.5, and we could calculate it using those same percentages and put those in there. We can see Dallas has a slight better chance of winning. And so if we we're gonna gamble, we might wanna gamble on Dallas winning this game. So the idea is if you have these percentages, you can multiply the percentages times each other and arrive by doing this at the percentage chances of winning. If I give you a problem that involves calculating some kind of a payoff in a game, and if one of the nodes has a percentage, then what you're gonna to have to do is multiply that percentage 
as uh, as you go up through the tree. Now, what do you multiply it by? Well, typically times one. So it's going to just affect the score. So if the score is 10 and 20, and it's 0.6, then it's gonna be 0.6 times 10, or 10, 0.6 times 20. Thank you.